If you have worked with QGIS in the past, you probably have heard about Saga Toolbox. It is an amazing toolbox which provides lot of different algorithms which makes our life as an analyst very much easy. In this video, we will install Saga Toolbox on Mac QGIS. Sometimes this QGIS version does not ship with Saga and then we have to do manual installation. For me to first of all check whether I do have Saga installed or not, I will simply go to Toolbox and try to search for Saga. In this case, I have nothing installed. I can go to my QGIS preferences, then processing and providers to again confirm. And since there is nothing with Saga written on it, this means we don't have the toolbox installed. Now to install the toolbox, first of all, we will go to plugins and search for Saga. And we have to install this processing Saga next gen provider. Now once you install it, if you go to your toolbox, you will see Saga next gen and all the possible algorithms with it. But that's not all. This is a next gen toolbox which requires you to have Saga installed on your machine. If you are from Windows or even on Linux or a Mac, you need to have Saga app installed on your machine. Let us first of all go to QGIS preferences and check what all settings the providers providing. So if I go to Saga, you will see that I can enable Saga import export. I can log my output. I can also log my executing commands and finally Saga folder. As you can see at this moment, this is empty, which means it is using the default Saga of QGIS. Now if I try to bring any of the files, so for example, I have this TIFF file that I would bring in my QGIS and now let me try to run one of the algorithm, let's say watershed algorithm, okay. Now if I try to run this algorithm, you will see that I am getting an error over here which says that problem with the Saga installation, unsupported Saga version. It is 7.8.2 which is the default Saga version in QGIS but the required one is 9.1 .1 and above. And because of this, even though our algorithm is running, it will not give us the correct result. Now to fix this thing, we will have to install Saga of version greater than 9.1. To do that, let us simply go to our browser. and search for Saga 9.1 Mac binary. So I will go to Saga and I will download it. So in my case, I am okay with 9.1.1. So I will simply download this one. In my case, I have already downloaded this. So let me go to my downloads tab and show you. So here is the 9.7.0 version. Now I will simply open this. And as you can see, I have my Saga application. I will simply move this to my applications folder. And now I need to give path of this Saga library in my QGIS. To do that, I will go to my folder one more time. Over here, I will right click on it and go to show package content, contents and Mac OS. So I want to give this path. So I will simply click on this and then click on option and copy the path name. Now I will go to my QGIS. One more time I will go to preferences, providers, Saga and over here I will give this path. Now this path will make sure that all the algorithms are using the latest version of Saga. I will simply click on OK. I will go to my preferences one more time just to be sure that the changes that I have made are here and in this case as you can see that the changes are not saved. This is because it is not able to find the correct path. Now I will simply save this and click on OK. And now it is trying to find that path. And what it is saying me is that the Saga may contain malware. Now in order for me to confirm this, I will go to my system settings, go to privacy and open anyway. By doing that, it will be able to open our Saga application. Now I will go to my QGIS one more time. And as you can see, the Saga application is now starting up. So I will go to preferences and I will make sure that my path is there and I can see my path is there. Now in order for this to take an effect, we will have to 
close our QGIS and open it again. So, I will simply close this and open QGIS one more time. And now, I will confirm if my Saga path is still there or not. I will go to providers, Saga and as you can see my path is here, which means now I can start new project, bring my file into this project and run the algorithms. So, again I will go to watershed image and run. Now, this time as you can see we are not getting any errors and that is because it is using the correct path. So, if I show you the logs, so here is the confirmation of this. So, this is how you can install the latest Saga version on your application of QGIS as well as on your machine. Thank you.